Hey, what's up? Today we are going to do a RAM upgrade for this Lenovo IdeaPad Gaming 3. But before that, intro. I have here a Kingston HyperX 8GB DDR4 3200MHz memory. First, I have to unscrew 11 screws to remove the back cover. All screws have the same size. I am using a 3mm screwdriver. To take off the back cover, you can pull it from this part or you can use a plastic pick like this just be careful so you won't break the tiny plastic locks inside the cover It is also good if you can clean the inside part of the cover. You can spray it with a laptop cleaning solution, then wipe it with a clean cloth. It will help the air intake and exhaust for better temperatures. Here is the inside and this part is the RAM and the available RAM slot. It has a cover that we will remove later on. Before that, we have to disconnect the battery to avoid damaging the hardware. Again, be careful on unplugging the power connector. We don't want to damage it. I'm going to use my screw to give it a little pull. Okay, done. So this is the empty RAM slot and then this is the current PCIe SSD and there's another empty slot here for another SSD PCIe if just in case you want to do an upgrade. But you can also buy a SSD SATA. You just need the converter or the adapter that comes with your laptop. And while we are at it, I'm going to clean the fans with a cloth. Actually, I'm going to use a microfiber car cleaning cloth. Now I'm going to remove the cover that covers the RAM slots. This is uh, just like glued to the component, but you can like uh, put a little extra force to remove it. So this is my HyperX RAM that I bought from the store. So again, this is eight gigabytes, 3,200 megahertz. I'm going to install the RAM now. Again, you just have to make sure that the little gap on the RAM will line up on the RAM slot. And just give it a little push. Then you have to make sure that you will hear the click. So you can make sure that the RAM is properly attached. And now I'm going to put back the battery. The next is I'm going to put the cover back. Just make sure that it's all lined up and just press where the glue part is. Then 
we're going to put back the back cover of the laptop. Then we have to check the BIOS first to confirm if the laptop can read the new RAM that we just installed. So we're going to enter BIOS. And as you can see here at the system memory, it's 16 gigabytes. Next we are going to use CPU Z to check also the details of the RAM just to make sure that everything is all aligned and we will have no problem with the new RAM. So slot 1 you can see Kingston the default RAM or stock RAM 8 gigabytes. then on slot 2 you can see the new RAM that we just installed both single ranks and as you can see here the dual channel is activated that's all thank you bye bye